Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog in this very bright <laughs> Target parking lot. Uh, I wanted to show you, I was like, what's an idea for a vlog I can do? And then I remembered Target has a lot of Back to the Future 35th anniversary items. So I thought I'd show off some of those. This is like a continuation of my Back to the Future collection video, only... You know, I don't actually have these items. We're just going to show what Target has. So, the lighting's so weird. <laughs> so strong right on my mouth. Uh, we'll go in. We'll see what's in store. Get it? Every time? Not every time. Never use that joke. Only every time. And uh, let's go inside. All right, mask on. Here we go. And it's only fitting to begin with the Back to the Future... DeLorean time machine replica vehicle and it includes the branding from the first movie and it looks like it has a controller actually too which I didn't see when I first grabbed this so it says it's high detail USB plug-in to charge it oh there's the controller right there so I guess it's actually it's like a remote control so that would be pretty cool if that works, especially if you can get it to 88 miles per hour. And then these are pretty cool. They've branded the Back to the Future 35th anniversary and kind of put in props like the Tales from Space comic that was in the first movie. And they have these very detailed figures that relate to the box that they're in. So they have Marty as he was discovered in the barn and as he revealed himself to George as Darth Vader. Uh, but a pretty detailed look at him with the hazmat suit. Um, it includes a hairdryer, cassette player, and interchangeable head and hands. And that's why you see this decapitated uh, version of Marty. But it includes kind of props that relate to that scene. And then they have these sort of retro. They kind of look like, does anyone remember Playmates brand? They even have the, the reaction logo looks like, kind of like the Playmates logo. Uh, figures from, it looks like, both Back to the Future and Back to the Future 2. Um, so you see, like, Doc Brown, Biff Tannen, Griff Tannen, kind of various versions of that. Looks like this Target has mainly Back to the Future 2 figures. And let me try to grab this other one. There we go. So you have uh, Biff with the almanac and the robe and necklaces as he was when he had the casino in Back to the Future 2. Uh, it's a pretty detailed too for these figures. And then lastly, if I can get this, they have Doc Brown from Back to the Future 2 as well with the costume he wore in that and the glasses and ties and I guess the two watches from the second movie. Didn't realize he had that in there. And then there's also a stuffed DeLorean, uh, complete with the out of time license plate. So kind of an interesting, I don't know, could treat that as a pillow, I guess, or something. Uh, just a stuffed toy with the Back to the Future 1 branding. And they have a stuffed Doc Brown, complete with the mad scientist hair. Also with the Back to the Future 1 branding. Ready to test the DeLorean. Marty! 88 miles an hour! You've got to come back with me. Back to the future! Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Best I could do. Okay, and then this is another figure they had um, with the Back to the Future 1 branding, and it's Marty from the first Back to the Future in his classic um, outfit that he wore the entire movie. Got a cool decapitated uh, Marty. He got the camcorder he used, uh, guitar, backpack, the life preserver as the 50s um, town called it, his skateboard, Apparently he could change his hands as well. Pretty detailed figure. Um, so they have this one too. And then 
yeah, it looks like there's a little description in the back uh, as well with the various items that he has that were mentioned. You can like have him in that guitar pose, uh, the skateboard and the camcorder, and they mention all those things in the inclusion on the box. And then they also have this Back to the Future uh, dice through time game. Uh, so it looks like it goes through the different eras. It says Biff stole the DeLorean and went for a joy ride through time, d disrupting events. Anyway, they have the um, town through, they have Hill Valley through the various uh, kind of eras, it looks like, from 1885, 1955, 1985. 2015, various cards and dice uh, for the players to use, and then the detail of the town in the different eras, as well as the figures that match the eras, it looks like, uh, are also included in this game. I think there's another game that's been released too, but this is the only one that this target has. I think there's another pretty highly rated Back to the Future game out right now, but anyway, interesting. There you go. All right, so that was actually a pretty interesting collection that that Target had. I'm actually going to head into another Target because the first one was also missing an item I was just looking for in general uh, and see what's in store at this one. Um, so we'll see if this one has... There's like a specific thing I was going to show. There was like a um, hoverboard that was... Like a pillow. I can't think of words this morning. It's like a, I almost said inflatable, but not inflatable. It was like a stuffed. That's the word, stuffed. There's a stuffed hoverboard, and I thought that was pretty cool. And I saw it at the last one last time, but it wasn't there this morning. So we'll go into this Target and uh, see what they have. So even the movie section is pitching the trilogy uh, that they have there. So it looks like roughly the same items that were at the last Target, including uh, the Marty that we saw. They do have a stuffed Marty. They didn't have that at the other one. So there he is with his headphones and the jacket and everything again from the first movie. It was a pretty, it looks kind of angry, but maybe smirking. It's pretty heavy, Doc. I need to work on these impressions pretty big time. Uh, same figures it looks like that we saw at the last target uh, yeah roughly the same ones same idea as last time none of the other ones that are mentioned on the box just Doc and Marty what can you do and then oh they do have the this uh, Gray's Sports Almanac from the second movie so if you open this one it's so hard to open. Let's try this down here. Okay, hard to open with one hand. Only. Free. Okay, let's try this again. Grabbing again. Switching hands. So yeah, there you go. There's the full almanac. And let's just open it. So you get Biff um, from 1955. And more of the town from 1955 in the box. An angry, decapitated Biff. <laughs> the different hands uh, of course one is or a couple are in fists so you could be punching and it looks like the western auto store um, bill for when he crashed into the manure manure I think is what that is so again pretty detailed figure and then of course the almanac itself is included uh, I do like that the box background on this one and yeah they just mentioned the same uh, they always have the same kind of description about just the movie in general on the back, but also what it, the figure includes. Then you can see the other figures that they have that weren't at the store. But what can you do? And then let's see if there's anything else. Oh, there's this uh, DeLorean. Again, no stuffed hoverboard, unfortunately. So I guess we are now out of time. But, um, bump. All right, so no, uh, I almost said inflatable. Oh my God, stuffed. I want to say it's early in the morning, but it's like 11 o'clock, so it's a little too late for an excuse for not 
knowing words. But anyway, uh, it looked like they had roughly the same things, a couple kind of unique things at this Target. Uh, but overall, pretty interesting items. So hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to this channel. I have links to my comedy channel as well. Uh, more to come on this channel in terms of hopefully travel. Hopefully, like, maybe a what I'll be doing in next year, maybe, video. Like, plans for that. And then, hopefully soon I'll be talking to another friend through uh, just doing... Um, not Zoom. Wow, I'm struggling. Big time. Big time with words. Uh, Skype. There we go. Another <laughs> Skype interview. Uh, so that should be coming soon. We're going to do a retrospective of our time in LA and both of us trying to break it into the entertainment industry. So that should be interesting. But anyway, subscribe to this channel if you can, if you enjoyed this video. Thank you if you do. And I'll talk to you next time. And enjoy this stray hair that's sticking out of my sideburn. All right. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.